difference. Hey, this is James at Classic Lawton Chevrolet. We're gonna do a full overview of this 2021 Premier Suburban. The first things I wanna talk about are the fuel economy. The fuel economy on this vehicle is excellent, especially for its size. You're getting 15 miles in the city, 20 on the highway, 17 combined. Also, it has a four-star crash safety rating, so it is a safe vehicle for you. Open up the doors for you. You can use these buttons that you see located on all four of the doors to get inside the vehicle. Has this nice maple interior. The outside is iridescent pearl. Power uh, passenger seat as well as power driver seat. This one has captain's chairs. Captain's chairs make it easier for anybody that's just climbing straight into the back, doesn't want to climb over seats, things of that nature. Um, but it also does come available with the full center row so you can seat up to eight comfortably. You also got your infotainment system here on the inside. So if kids want to watch TV, play video games, things like that, all that stuff is already in their form. They don't have to take their stuff from home. Also has built-in Wi-Fi. You can connect up to seven devices to it. So anybody needs to connect while you're driving, everybody has more than enough space to do it. If you look down here, you got your rear air conditioning controls. So the people that sit in this area, they might like it cooler and you might like it hotter. The people back here, can sit down and actually control their own air condition if they want it to be hot or cold. Uh, also comes with heated seats in this center row. I know a lot of parents are like, well, what if my kids break stuff? They like to break stuff. So it actually gives you the option to lock the controls from the, from the front screen so they won't be able to mess with it. Even in the event that they broke the buttons in the back, you would still be able to control the air condition. So that might be one of the things you don't have to worry about. Heated steering wheel, heated and cooled seats. Also has that rear cross traffic alert. I love that feature personally for myself because when you're backing up and somebody's flying behind you, the car will buzz at you, it'll vibrate, it'll let you know, hey, don't back up, somebody's coming. Also has your blind spot warning. So if you're ever on the highway trying to get over, guess what it'll let you know hey somebody's in your blind spot don't go yet they're all gonna come standard with apple carplay and android auto from the bottom to the top this one is a premiere so it has a little bit of extra features but that apple carplay and android auto allows you to connect your phone to your car you get all your calls text messages navigation straight from the screen of your phone to the screen of the car so you don't have to fiddle with your phone. It'll read your text messages out loud for you, read your calls out loud for you. Parking assist, so if you're getting too close to something, it's gonna be, this is a big body. You get too close to something, you, you, you're gonna wanna know about it. So you get too close, it's gonna start beeping at you, letting you know, hey, we're getting a little bit close, you might wanna just park it now. Traction control, it's gonna have your snow mode, it's gonna have your tow mode, because this is also a vehicle that can tow. Most people think you just can use trucks. You can also use this, you can pop off the back, there's a little tow hitch there, hook up your boats, your RVs, whatever you need to tow. Memory seat settings, so you can click one or two, if, you, if you're taller like me, you can have the seat already set back for you when you get in. If you're shorter, you can have the seat set for your wife or somebody like that if they're going to get in. So it's universal. Always comes equipped with OnStar. So when you're using this OnStar feature, it'll let you start the car from anywhere in the world, unlock the car from anywhere in the world. I know it's important because we have troops that go overseas. Wife might have lost her second set of keys, but guess what? Your son's video game is in the car and we need to get it out or he won't stop crying. You can say, oh my God, and just unlock it from your phone. You'll be all right. It'd be a perfect vehicle for the family, especially the family that has more than the average. You might, you might have four kids. You're gonna need this extra room. And so this would be a lovely vehicle for you to take into your household. The 2021 Suburban. This is a 5.3 liter V8. Also comes available on a 6.2 liter V8 if you guys want that extra horsepower. 10 speed automatic transmission. With the click of a button, you can lift up your trunk, close your trunk. I want you to notice that there's also a button right here on the inside that'll close it for you. One thing I love about this Premier is it gives you a whole lot of cargo space. This Suburban gives you cargo space underneath if you're gonna store jacks, jumper cables, first aid kits, things like that. You got plenty of space to do it because they take the tire and they put it underneath the vehicle. So that way your spare tire isn't taking up room for your cargo space area back here. If you hit this button like that, it'll lay the seats down flush for you. It's all, it's all electronic. You don't have to pull with any latches or anything like that. And then simply touch the button, you can raise them back up. And that, I like that feature because it gives you even more cargo space if needed. You can also lay the seats down in the front from back here. So 
I'll show you what it looks like when everything is laid down. So when everything is laid down, you can fit a whole bed in here if need be. You got plenty of room. You, you can go to sleep in here. If you, most people say, if I'm gonna spend this much money for a vehicle, I'm gonna sleep in it. You can sleep in it. <laughs> I'll take you guys to the inside and I'll just get more detail, show you how the buttons actually work. So the 2021 Suburban is great. It's, even as far as audio, since I mentioned the radio, it has the Bose audio system. Uh, that's only in the Premier, but this one has it. So if you like that cool, crisp sound, you got Bose in here so you can jam for days. You got this full panoramic moonroof. I mean, from the front to the back, Everybody gets to look outside and be like, man, look at the stars tonight. I love my moon roof. I always leave it open at nighttime just because I like to look up at the stars of the rain. It allows you to lift up this third row from right here. This middle row is adjustable. So if the people need more leg room, you can back it up. If the people in the back need more leg room, you can scoot it, scoot it forward. And it's all from the click of a button. Also comes equipped with navigation. So you click that button. Your navigation stream pops up, everything's on there, uh, and it comes with its own SD card. Whenever you need to get it updated, bring it to any Chevy dealership, and they'll take care of it for you. If you don't want to worry about that, here comes the Apple CarPlay and the Android Auto again. You plug in your phone, you get the screen of your phone on the screen of your car, uh, on the screen of your car. All calls, text messages, navigation, right there for you, and you never have to update it because one thing phones love to do is update when we're asleep. So. That is a great feature to have in here. You'll hold this button down right here. If I had a phone connected, it, you, it has a speech recognition system. If you have an iPhone, it's gonna be Siri. If you got an Android, it's gonna be Google. And it's gonna say, hey, what do you need me to do? You say, take me to Pizza Hut. It's gonna, it's gonna pull up four Pizza Huts. It's gonna take you to whichever one's closest. You got your dual air control down here. So I might like mine on on high. I'm 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 gonna burn up in here. It's gonna be 90 degrees. He might like his, cause he's a cool dude that's videotaping. You don't know that. But he might like his on cool because he's just that cool. So I mean we can have it set for different ways, but if we decide we wanna we wanna be Christian about it and and sync them together, we can pull it together and we can compromise and now we're at a nice even temperature. This is that rear climate that I was telling you about it'll pop up over here. So you see right now they already have it locked, but now the rear controls are unlocked. So anybody can adjust their temperature in the back, but as soon as they start doing too much or your kids start doing too much, hit that lock button, everything's locked back up again. Now you control it. You can control whatever you wanna do, or you can just sync it. So now whatever you have going on in the front is what they're gonna have going on in the back. So you can set different users for the vehicle, whether it be yourself or your wife or your uh, son, daughter, whoever's learning how to drive, your Wi-Fi hotspots right here. You'll be able to control your own password, uh, control who can use it. It won't just be open so anybody can get on. You actually have some control over there. This is the Apple CarPlay and the Android Auto we were talking about. And if you don't want to worry about that or your phone's not accessible to that, it doesn't disclose you from anything. You can just Bluetooth your phone to the car regularly. Still get all your calls over the, over the screen of the car and still get your text message read to you just by the car instead of Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. And then you'll still be able to Bluetooth your music because everybody wants to get into the car and listen to the music. You come over here, you got your trailer mode, your climate, your camera. So you hit this camera and it'll show you just some of the different angles you can look at. You got that camera that's looking at the back of us right now. You got this camera that's looking at the front of us right now. You got this one that'll look above you. You got this one that'll look behind you. This right here is looking at the side of your wheels to let you know if you're on the lines or not. This right here is looking at the back. So when you're reversing, you can see as well, this would be right over that tow hitch that we talked about if that was in there. Then you got your regular backup camera. If we go right back over here, you got your regular backup camera. And, and one thing I like about it is as I turn the wheel, the lines of the screen turn along with it. So you know exactly where you're going at all times. You got this one, this is that 360 I was talking about. You see all the way around the vehicle at any time. Line still adjusts with you so you know where you're swinging out to. You know exactly what your turn radius is gonna be so there's no question if you're gonna make it or not. Another thing that they did with the 2021s is there's no more gear shift. Uh, so now 
you're using buttons to go to reverse your pulling neutral you're clicking drive you're pulling parking just like that you come over here you got a heads up display now you can't see it because of the way they got the technology but it'll show you the miles per hour on any street that you're on if they have a listed speed limit heads up it's going to show me the miles per hour i know the speed limit's 45 and i know how fast i'm going right above it so if anybody pulls you over you know if you were speeding or not <laughs> also it has intelligent cruise control the thing i love about this intelligent cruise control is uh say for instance you drop something i know you're not supposed to bend down and pick stuff up while you're driving you're supposed to be focused on the road but let's say you're on the highway and you drop something if a vehicle is front of, in front of you, it's going to stop itself. I have it in my truck personally, and I love that feature because you don't know how many times somebody is just broke crazily in the middle of the road, and, and now your vehicle has to come to a complete stop. But if you weren't paying attention, you wouldn't know. The vehicle saves you from that. Uh, it'll slow down for you. I've had people cross in from lanes when you take trips on the highway to Dallas or somewhere like that, and they're just driving 100 miles per hour and you're scared. The vehicle is so intelligent that it's going to keep you safe as you drive. You should have nothing to worry about while you're in this vehicle. It has a trailer mode and it, it comes with its own trailer brake. Now, most times only trucks come with these trailer brakes, but the trailer brake is designed so if you got that RV on the back, if you got that boat on the back, as long as it has the hookups, you can break it from inside of the car. That way the trailer isn't running into the back of your nice car. You just spend all this money on this car. You don't want no trailer running to the back of your car. You want to be able to break everything and nothing breaks on you. And it also has this little button right here that'll roll in your, your mirrors for you. And when you park, you can get real skinny. I know it's big, but sometimes you got to get skinny. So you can roll them in, then roll them back out like nothing happened. You can adjust your mirrors all different type of ways, but all in all, the 2021 Suburban will be a perfect vehicle for any family. Hey guys, thanks again for watching this video. This is James Cross from Classic Lot and Chevrolet. I hope you guys are informed on the 2021 Suburban now, and when you come to make your next purchase, you can enjoy your ride. Have a nice day. Classic Chevrolet, relax, enjoy the difference.